So the Sting E53 is a, a prototyping platform for uh, embedded ML. Uh, and one of the things that uh, I found hard when starting embedded ML project, even after Edge Impulse made it simple to build the model, was getting my data uh, sampled and up into the cloud. So in Nordic, we have a, a mission of making life simple for developers. So we wanted to skip the whole, all the manual labor of uh, getting sensor data sampled and put up into the cloud and automate this process. And we also wanted to make it simple to uh, download and deploy those models back into an embedded device to, to test them out so you could uh, always uh, improve and uh, modify your model as you needed to. So to do this, we have created the Thing53, which is an integrated uh, uh, sensor prototyping platform. It has uh, accelerometers, it has microphones, it has uh, humidity, uh, air temperature, gas emission sensors. Uh, it also has a light and color sensor. And it has Bluetooth connectivity to a dedicated app. So once you've sampled uh, a sensor on the Thingy, it's automatically uploaded to your phone's internet connection into Edge Impulse Studio, where you can use it to train an ML model. And once you have trained the ML model, you can, through the app, download and deploy the ML model to the Thingy's uh, 5340, NRF5340 SOC, uh, and run inferencing, uh, uh, doing the, the actual ML uh, recognition of whatever data you trained it on, uh, on the device itself. We have the, the NRF Edge Impulse app, and we can simply add a sensor. It's connected to this thingy. So we can simply add a sensor input. Let's say I want to use the, the microphone on the thingy. I just select the microphone from a drop down menu. And then I select what sensor or what I classify this uh, sensor input. So I want to say hello to the thingy 53. So I will uh, name this sensor hello thingy. This, uh, I will classify this, uh, this data as hello thingy. And in the app, I select my sampling length. So I don't need 10 seconds to say hello thingy. I need only, let's see. Five seconds. And it samples at uh, 16,000 hertz, which is enough. And I simply do uh, start sampling in the app. Hello thingy. Hello thingy. And now it's automatically uh, uploading this sample to my Edge Impulse Studio account through my phone's internet connection. So it's a success. And here on the Edge Impulse Studio account, you can see I previously had uh, zero data, and if I update, uh, oh, it's the FM. If I refresh, you can see I have now collected five seconds of data. It's automatically in my Edge Simple Studio account uh, as soon as it's it's sampled on the device. Uh, yeah. And the same way, when, once you have collected enough data samples to build a model, you build a model in the cloud, and it's just as simple. Uh, once it's built in the cloud on your, in the browser, it is already available on the phone and in the app, because you log in in your account in the app. And then you deploy it to the, to the thingy. It takes a minute. Uh, and then you can run inferencing, and you can use the, use the app also to read out the inferencing results. And this isn't developing, of course. Uh, you still have to make both your hardware and your software to make a product you can sell. Uh, but this is a very great way of, of testing out the viability and training good ML models in advance. So when you come to the stage where you actually need to build your hardware, you, n you have something to put on it right away. And you can, you can perfect your hardware and your software in parallel instead of first having to go through a lot of hardware development to just to be able to sample data before you can start doing software.